Ah, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Rebel Drifter here. Guess what? I have this amazing phone. It's called the ROG Phone 7. It's not the ultimate pro version with the uh, cool fans and stuff, you know, the cooling fan and everything. But guess what? I'm in recovery mode because my phone had an update this morning. And uh, the cool thing is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's supposedly it's saying here, wipe data, factory reset. And I have to use my power button to do that because I can't do anything anymore with this phone. So guess what? Bloop. Guess what? Reboot system now. No. I'm supposed to get into a menu where I have to scroll down to the middle one and say yes. It's not doing it. Wipe data. Factory reset. Yeah. But reboot now. No. I want to wipe data. Factory reset. It's not working. I can do a reboot to bootloader. I can do a reboot system now. I'm going to show you. Reboot system now. I'm already sick and tired of this shit. I'm so pissed off right now. This is the thing that happens to me this morning. I get an update. It goes to this screen and it doesn't go any further. So we're just going to sit here a little while, you know. Just wait a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can get the camera a little bit more... Uh, Centered on there. There we go. On the logo. Snapdragon Elite Gaming. I'm waiting for the buzz. But it's, it's not doing it. No buzz. So it's not supposed to take this long. So this video is for all the people that have the update on their phone right now. I don't even remember what update it was. I don't know if it was a system software update or it was a Android update. The dude on the phone from Asus or Asus said it was a update from Android. I actually thought it was an Asus update. So regarding system software for the ROG Phone 7, he said that's not the case. So I think he's lying. Maybe he's trying to, uh, you know, save himself because apparently when I called my seller of this phone, which is a very big company, it's called Bell Simple. I, um, I asked them and they said, well, there are more people apparently who have this problem. So I, I kind of think that's also weird because I've not seen or heard anything on the internet yet regarding this specific phone, but this fucking update, dude, holy shit. So now I have to hold the power button and the down button. Let's see if that's going to work. Yeah. I'm going to turn it off and then use the that's not probably not fast enough no it's not going to be fast enough shit i can't do this with one hand let me try it again power off and down button volume down is it going is it going yeah okay now volume up and power leave it on yeah, look, okay, so we're back here into recovery mode. We can do start, which doesn't work. Restart bootloader, tried that six million times. Done the recovery mode, and we've done power off. So again, go into recovery mode. It does this again. So it's stuck. It doesn't even, it's just broken. It doesn't go to the, um, to the OS. So it's completely fucked. This update has completely fucked up my phone. I was not able to make a backup, and guess what? I'm going to lose everything now, including naked women, pictures of my wife, drifting, and everything. It just pisses me off. So it says reboot system now. Oh, God damn it. This camera is really not helping it out. Active track enabled. Reboot system now. Reboot to bootloader. Enter fast boot. Wipe data factory reset and power off. Let's go to wipe data factory reset. No, it's not doing it. So I've tried everything here. You have been warned, if you can't do the wipe data factory reset, you're fucked like me. And that's it, boys and girls. See you guys in the next video. Please leave a like, subscribe. Enjoy my pain.